Hello and welcome back to the Elmbridge XL Sports Hub today with the Swans play host to a very informed Beaconsfield town side who sit at the top of the league form table. Swans sitting in third, so should be an exciting game today. What are you taking from it, Tom? Yeah, I think it's going to be tough as you touched on. You know, it's probably a bad time to play Beaconsfield. But we have a good bit of history of them, you know, FA Cup, last two seasons. You know, I remember Ona Bikichi at Chalfont St. Peter when we were back in step five yeah. a couple of years ago. But it's good now to play Beaconsfield in the league. But I think I'd fancy us considering our home record here at the hub. Let's get into the lineups. This field last year, so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be yeah. a good game and hopefully a lot of goals. Well, you touched on there, haven't you? Like the amount of history we've had with this team. But this is actually the first time in a long while we've actually played Beaconsfield in the league. Yeah. It's good to be here. You know, the first time under our ownership we encountered Beaconsfield are in blue today was when we were in step five. So two leagues below. And here is John Gilbert. Oh, he's gone for it. Saw the keeper. Clever idea. Not quite enough behind the shot there. Looking for options. Just switch on maybe to Sam Tut. He goes for it. And send it back. Eddie Simon nearly gets there. The keeper did get a touch on it. And, and it's a goal kick, apparently. Yeah, the keeper actually palmed it onto Eddie's leg, I think. Well, Eddie was lunging, but yeah. the official... But a bit of miscommunication at the back. And there is Mitch Goff to Hicksy. Joe Hicks steps forward. Eddie. John finds Trey. Sam Tut into the box. He's got an eye for goal at the moment, Sam Tut. But Anis. Ooh, oh, caught it wrong. All wrong, that Anis. Good move. He has got a bad leg, that defender. Bandaged yeah, around his bandaged left knee. Up. Frailing tries to nip in. Still going, Frailing. The Will Hughes lookalike pokes it on really well. It's oh. a nice touch off. It's a good opportunity and it's been Sliced skied. over. Frailing tried to get in there. Hippolyte's found oh. a bit of space down the left. Oh, it's a lovely move again. Anis gets in. It's going to be a shot. Oh, and Dickinson was blindsided. If that was on target, it would have been a goal. That's it. Well, I think got John got in there and then was fouled when the guy tried to... Oh, my God. Well, I think it's Hippolyte. He's appealing it. It's gone over the line. Yeah. I don't think it did. None yeah, of his teammates. I, don't think, I, don't think <laughs> I mean, he really should be doing better from that position. Hicks lets that one bounce, pumps it up. You've got to pump it up. Trade. Don't you know, pump it up. Straight back the other way towards Hippolyte. Goff. Goff, brilliant. Well, there's still work to do. Hippolyte, Hippolyte turns, chance. shoots. Oh, it's a goal kick. Tyler had that covered every yeah. day of the week. Not enough power behind the shot. Alex Kelly. <laughs> Over to Harry Mills. Oh, Wilson charging the commentator. Come on now, Eddie, give us something. Eddie Simon. Eddie. Up against the fullback. Tries to get past him, gets the ball in. Oh! <laughs> Nearly squeezed in somehow. But it's oh, one the rest given a corner. Almost trickled into that far, far post. Yeah. Flaherty. Swings it in. Oh, Millsy! And again. Oh, yeah. two couldn't bites of the cherry there, Harry Mills. Couldn't keep it down. <sighs> nice little floater. Oh. Crucial touch. Ooh. I think he's hit the outside of the, the post there, Joe Hicks. Mm. Was listening to that on the way here, actually, today. It's a good song. We're all part of a master plan. Trey, spun, spun the defender, Trey, he's round him. In. Well, it's over Huge. from a few yards out from Stan Flatty. I don't know if there was a... Joe Hicks. Kelly, Gilbert, Alex Kelly! 
God, that's so, so big. Still there still for alive. Watson. Oh, come on. But Alex Kelly's bad. missed from 10 yards out, being closed down by the goalkeeper. And he's kept them level. It's a huge moment. One minute to go before stoppage time, which might not even be anything. I think it will. They spent a minute and a half on the ground there. Kelly clipped forward. John Gilbert, the keeper's out. Oh, and it's so still. Dennis. And it's yes! 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 The keepers have a howler, and Alistair's capitalised. Oh, and it's seen to again at the hub. Alistair, what a hit. Smashed it into the bottom left-hand corner. The crowd goes berserk. Yeah, expensive balls. Pixie's dad watching from Mallorca. We love it. Well, it's not over yet. Yes! yes! Oh, massive, massive three points for Walton and Ersham. A full credit to the boys, they fought all the way. Never stopped. And Anis Nur comes up clutch at the depth. Wow. Here with the manager, Scott Harris. Another game at home where we've had to battle to the death, but another game where we've ultimately come out on top. How did that play out from your perspective today? Uh, well, it's, it was enjoyable. I, you know, People from the side might not have thought it was maybe the most entertaining of our uh, recent games, but I... I personally love the struggle with that, with that kind of challenge. Um, Beaconsfield about as, about as organised as we've come across, to be honest, def defensively. Um, they just had the one guy up front that's always a threat on the break, Hippolyte. You know, he kept, kept the boys honest all the time at, at the back end. But mm. finding holes uh, in amongst a lot of big bodies uh, around the edge of the box there was, a, you know, we said at half time, uh, it's a real game of patience today and it might take, I mean, you say these things, mm. it, you know, it, it's ended up happening, but it might take until the 90th minute until you get, you know, a, a can't miss chance. In fact, we got one with Alex a few minutes before and mm. you thought, ah, oh, that's it, we've blown it now. You know, we've worked the sort of opportunity that we were searching for all day with the, the little combinations oh, through the middle of the pitch there. And then maybe we'll, we'll put it down to rust for, for Alex with his, uh, with yeah. his finish, maybe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there certainly weren't any rust with, with the goal from Anis no, Um I've got to say, if I could handpick anybody for that ball to drop to in our team, it probably would be him at the moment. Mm. Um, he's such a clean striker of a ball and yeah, massive composure to, to do it you know, in that fashion, to strike the ball the way he did with that goal gaping. Um, in the last minute, lots of people would you know, really snatch at that. But. Yeah, great finish. Yeah, we've scored 40% of our goals this season after the 80th minute <laughs> and just under 20% in second half injury time. Yeah. Is there more behind that stat to you or is it just the resilience that we keep showing right until the very end? Well, there's probably a couple of things uh, in the mix there. I mean, obviously the guys, once you've done it once or twice, you know, and like you say, it's numerous times now and you go back to last season as well. You know, a lot of the lot of the history behind us now, we've we've got that associated with us that if we're behind at the break or we might be in a deadlock like this and we're searching, we're searching, we're searching, no one, no one stops believing in it. Uh, I think the crowd have even got to that point as well now where they're mm. sort of half expecting, you know, something will happen at the end. So there's that mentality side of it, um, you know, and you've got that carrot that when you're up fighting at the top of the league, you know, you, you don't just think, oh, well, a point will do today. You know, mm. the, the guys are, you know, they're, they're fighting to, to stay up amongst it at the top. But also on a, you know, more of a, a technical sort of answer. I think, you know, there's something to it when you've got that much possession that the other team's players are going down with cramp, you know, eventually something's going to give towards or the end of the game. cramp at least. Maybe. Yeah, well, maybe. Something will give at the end of the game, you know. You, you can you can pass the legs off teams. And, you know, we nearly, nearly, nearly got that done at Tiverton last week in the, in the final stages and <laughs> didn't quite convert for a winner. But, yeah, today, you know, like I say, the, the, the effort and determination to stick with it paid off at the end again. Yeah, looking ahead to our next few games, it's four road games on the bounce now. And obviously, we might have one or two of those called off if the weather plays out in yeah, those games maybe. like it did today. But how are we feeling about hitting the road for, for four away games in a row? Yeah, um, those that sort of study the stats will probably know we're overdue a road win. Uh, definitely, we've had you know only one loss on the road, but you know we've got to maybe start turning a couple of the draws into wins. Mm which is not as easy as said than done, um, or is easier said than done, sorry. Um, but 
yeah, listen, it's just each game at a time. Like you said, we might not end up playing all of these. We obviously know we've got Hendon on the 3G, so that one should be all right. But we'll see what happens with Hamwell Tuesday. Um, Winchester the week. Yeah, Winchester. Well. I mean, both of those were pitches that were abandoned on day one, as we, as we know. So there might be a history of having problems with the, the water there. But mm. yeah, listen, we just each game as, as it comes. You know, thankfully today we had a, a full squad to pick from for the first time in forever. Uh, special mention again, as always, to Alex. You know, making his return. Hopefully, down there, there's nothing untoward um, mm. in the next sort of 24 hours, and he's feeling all right. Uh, yeah. So, listen, everybody will get their game time over these next few games. I'm sure when it's coming thick and fast, and yeah, we're constantly just searching for the next win, mate. So yeah. just see, take each one. Yeah. Swans snatch it late at the death again to keep pace with the rest of the pack near the top of the table. We'll be back on Tuesday night away to Hanwell Town. We'll see you guys there.